Hello, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Dream 5. I'm Pondon, and today we're picking up from where we left off. I replayed a few turns, and we're back in this spot here on turn 5. And we're going to try and get out of this jam. And that's going to involve using the heck out of Gareth. Wait, do we have Dragon Slayer Colbain? Doesn't really do a lot. Two times effectiveness, man. I don't know. I'm definitely of the mind that three times effectiveness is way, way better. Okay, let's do... Can... Mm. Okay, this is a little bit of a puzzle. So I'm thinking Leah here, here to heal Cobain. Then we're going to dance for Gareth, because he can do the most damage. We can get rid of this guy. Because he's not going to want to hit the Wyvern. No. Yeah, I think opening things up and getting rid of the Merm probably makes a little more sense. Kinda hoping for a crit here. Nope. Didn't get it. That's fine. Okay. Um Do you have does anyone have a heal? Lean's in danger, but do you have a heal, Gareth? No. Alright, so I gotta do it this way. Which was not super well planned. But Lean can take a hit from a Wyvern, yeah? 25 damage. Actually, you can't take a hit from a Wyvern. This is bad. Let's see, 112 minus 41. Okay, you might live. It's fine. We have Amelia over here. Yeah, I was talking to Warpath about this map. There's really no reason to split. There's no reason to split. Excellent. All right. These glass weapons, though, man. Gotta watch out for you. This dude, this wyvern is deceptive. Okay, let's uh, let's set up here. Alright, let's just see how this goes. Vashank isn't going to do anything. Oh, I forgot. Is Elanise in range of the Wyvern? She might be. Okay. Okay. I thought we'd be heroes. I don't know if you're getting into heroes, Lean. Uh, let's try this again. Gareth? I guess I can do this. So I think this might be the better play. Maybe get a crit. Okay, Gareth can do the rest. And then Lean is safe. I like this move. Yeah, Dream of Five, man, you gotta you kinda need to play with save states. I'm convinced this is how Astra intended it to be played. Alright, I gotta watch out for you. Okay, so I can put you here. 
this is definitely a bit of a bait and switch turn. There really aren't too many bait and switch turns in Dreamify, but we're getting to the point where the maps are just getting very dense and there's a lot of math. Okay, let's um... Basically, if everyone suicides on Amelia, then it's okay. Just heal up. I do think it is interesting that so many of these old, just thinking about like the hack more broadly, that so many of these older hacks like are basically just like self-insert form hacks that then kind of took on a life of their own, which I think is just a really interesting way to build a hack. Because you really, like, as a creator, you don't get much say over what kind of classes people are. Now I don't think this would work because people would argue too much about what classes you would even use because there's so many animations. It used to just, I think in the old days it was really just like, okay, I'm doing the vanilla class list plus soldier and halberdier. And that was kind of just like what you lived with. Which I think is fine. The vanilla class list, totally fine. I do think there are more exciting ones though. Let's see, you gotta watch out for you. That's a wall there. I don't want to watch out for you as much. Okay, let's see here. So Wyvern Man can attack me at the house. You can attack me at the house. I think this is Renair's moment. It looks like you could use some mighty weaponry to combat these sword users, even though we're on Durian. Civilians, we detest the way Jinsei is ruling the country. Take this axe to help us against this tyranny. It's specially made to defeat sword users and has two large blades to boot. <gasps> oh, the Labrys, a second Labrys. How delightful. All right, now. I think we just want to get Colbain into position here to help out Renair. Surprised she hasn't hit B rank yet, but it's all good. Alright, let's see. Thank you, Gabe. Supposedly there's no anti-turtle in this map at all, so I might be able to like move kind of at my own pace for once. Which isn't ideal in my opinion. Fire Emblem always needs to have a reason to make the player move fast. Otherwise I'm just gonna bait out every single enemy. Because I'm scared of Dream of Five. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Gonna watch out for you, yeah. Yeah, these wyverns are so scary, dude. Alright, let's um This is this is a pretty sad showing on my part. I'm making a save state next turn, remind me. Woo, Ilanice. With the crit. Still rocking the A support. Double crit. I like this enemy phase right now. Yeah, but this is when I'm talking about enemy phase orientation, this is super enemy phase oriented. A lot of it has to do with just the way the enemies are placed and that they don't move until you get into space. Because the enemies are just kind of waiting for you to show up, you kind of just need to like wait at the end of their ranges to benefit from supports and all that. Alright, let's use some Jagan damage here. It's been a while since we've done that. But yeah, there's like very little incentive to play aggressively because if you stick your neck out at all, you'll just get completely burned. What does this guy have? A steel sword, okay. Okay. Let's heal up Colbane. All right. Yeah, I haven't played that much the past few days. I haven't really felt like recording all that much. I've been sleep. I think just winter time, I tend to sleep in a little bit more, unfortunately. And then my time to re my record, which basically cuts into my recording window. 
of early morning. Today I woke up at 5.30, which is okay. It's early enough that I can get started and play through most of a chapter without an issue before I have to go to work. Alright, let's see. Alright, I need Asher out of the way. Another sneaky wyvern over here. A cheeky wyvern in our midst. Lads, alright. I think the play is heal. Heal, Amelia. Heal, Amelia. Let's see. Can we do this? Some iron bow action. Villainese to finish. Alright then. Amelia up here. And then I think the rest of the crew is going to start heading up this way to liaise with their pals. Okay, excuse me for a sec. Sorry about that. Had to clear my nose because it's. I think I'm getting cold, which kind of blows. All right, now Illinois will go up here because this is still a wall. Yeah. Okay. Dream of Five is totally the type of hack that would do visual tricks like that. What a peculiar book. Oh, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> out, out. Crossfire. Very epic. B rank. Okay. Now. We'll heal up Amelia. I don't think she can take both those hits at once. That's a guaranteed kill. Excuse me a sec, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. My apartment's really cold and it's making me sneeze. I should probably leave the heat on more. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the um The temperature here is kind of in a funky state where it's like sometimes just a little too warm for the heater. Let's see, can you take <laughs> 24 and 18 that's 42 minus 10. No, you die. <laughs> Alright, let me just make a save state real quick while I'm thinking about it.
Oh, look at this sneaky little opening here. <laughs> Alright, let's do some axes here. We'll get Renair up here. Get Colbain moving. It's gonna warm up. Now, can Gabe take this? Because Gabe would be taking 42 minus 18, which is 24. <coughs> so Gabe could live, or Seymour could live, but he can't reach, so it's fine. We'll just slowly advance. Oh, they're coming in. Gareth. <coughs> you know, I think it's probably a bit of a miss that I haven't been using Gareth at all for the Hurlbat. But I like him with bows. Bow Gareth. <gasps> Okay, steel blade, short spear. Okay, let's um get a little or Liet. Let's get Gareth in again. I'm doing what the pros do, ja dancing for Jagans. Kind of set up this Congo line here. I'm fine with choking out. I probably should have. There we go. The rip iron bow. I can't even lift you up, Lean. Oh, because Renair has the same con for some reason? Oh, well. Lean can take a hit. She's only taking one hit. Okay, now over here. I gotta figure out who can take both of those hits. Actually, Chase can. Out. All right, perfect. Um, can Chase do both? Let me just double check. 42 minus 20 is 22. Yeah, he lives. I could put Amelia here to like draw the longbow guy, but I don't think that's necessary. We'll just do this. I'm going for almost 20 minutes already. He barely moved. Okay, Gareth, whittling them down. Choking points with your Jagan. Yeah, this is definitely like the trap setup. Because you're choking through a tiny wall. But I'll take the terrain every day in this hack. Lee, no. Alright. Things are looking a bit bad. Let's make them less bad. Get rid of you. Let's 
let's dance for Gareth. Dude, I love just Gareth is just saving us. This is it feels like chapter one. I don't really need to use Gareth here, but I f it feels right to use Gareth here. Weapon level increase. She got a weapon level increase. Okay, I'll take it. Let's go lean. Okay. Look. I think the play. Oh, I have the Labrys. Hello, Labrys. Um. I think the play is just get rid of the wyvern. Low and slow, get rid of the wyvern. Chase helping get rid of the wyvern. Vishank getting a kill. Okay. I gotta be super careful here. Sword Elanese with the doubles. I'm into it. Alright, now. Do you stand a chance here in combat? It's a risky play. It's a super big risk, honestly. But. We do have save states. And also we have uh, Asher, so. Ooh, Amelia. She wants it all, all right. Yeah, let's heal up Chase. I think, you know what? This is definitely almost a breather chapter. This is like on its way to being a breather chapter. And I say that not to, you know, I say that because the chapter is not like pressuring me to move in the same way as other chapters, and so thus I have room to breathe. That's kind of how I think of a breather chapter. Even if it is a little bit... Whoa, Amelia, calm down. Um, actually don't, keep doing it. Um, yeah, I think it's good to have a breather chapter every once in a while where the player can kind of just like cruise. I don't agree with not having an anti-turtle, but I do think having a chapter that's like generally not as mentally exhausting is a good thing. As I give all the kills to Gareth. Okay, I gotta watch out for you with your Shifos. No, Rainier will die there. Let's, um, Gabe? Seymour. Oh yeah, how do I open the door? Who has the door key? Did I... F okay, Leah has the door key, okay. Dude, Amelia's so good. She's doing all this with a fire tome. This is insane. Alright, let's, um... How much speed do you have? 16 speed. Okay, Amelia's not gonna double. You're not gonna double. Let's put you two together. Do this. Keep the party moving. Double check my spacing. It's always double check your spacing. That's how you lose, by not checking your spacing. But yeah, I do, going back to breather chapters, I think having a breather chapter can be nice. Because I think like, when you're thinking about like your hack, if you have too many difficult chapters in a row, there's a stronger likelihood of the player dropping it because they're just gonna be like, will this ever stop? At least a breather chapter might give them some motivation to keep going. Plus, it also gives them a chance to, like, try out different units. A lot depends on, like, the general difficulty of your hack and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of considerations. But I don't think it's bad to have a chapter that's a little bit easier follow in between more difficult ones. 
or after a stretch of difficult chapters. All right, let's um, dance. Dance and shop. Yes, thunder tomes for Amelia. A spell that inflames the spirit. I don't think I need to spend 1200 on Gabe. Uh, buy another men staff. I have money. Got cash to burn. All right, let's do that. Okay, Renair's gonna come up this way. Colbain. The Shank? No, it's not happening, the Shank. I'm sorry. I'll let you get some chip here. And then Seymour. Oh. I totally misclicked. That could have been bad. It's fine. Now, the Shank. We're gonna send the Shank shopping. I'm worried about, like, stepping too close to the door. I say as I put Asher in front of Illinois here. Alright, I think I actually have to physically open the door. Alright, we're going to make a save state. Oh, hello. Alch's glove! An interesting glove. Um, what are these guys packing? Spears. All right, maybe I don't open this door with Gabe. Um, give me a sec here to, to reconsider. I think Gareth needs to be up here. Yeah, I think I need to just get everyone into position first and then open the door. Take that thunder tome though. All right, let's um, the shank can go over here. I'll buy another steel bow. Um, I'll buy another hurl bat. Two hurl bats, in fact. Another javelin, just in case. You know, why not another two javelins, just in case? Okay, I think we're good. All right, let's heal up. Healers healing healers. All right, I'll make a new save state. All right, I'm gonna cut it here because I have a feeling this next part is going to be a doozy. So we'll continue on next time. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then.